Hi folks, I have some crazy news for you because Fuji made a ton of pre-orders in China. According to multiple sources, there are over 500,000 pre-orders in China only for the Fuji X106 and that's only in the first day, so the pre-order numbers are still going up. And to give you an idea of how much this is, you have to know that Fuji officially planned to produce only 15,000 cameras per month. So to fulfill the Chinese pre-orders numbers they have right now, it would take over 33 months. So about three years for them to fulfill the pre-orders they had in China only. And those pre-order numbers are still increasing. And if you consider that China is about one third of the worldwide market, I bet that the pre-order numbers worldwide are well above 1 million, which would think, which would mean that Fuji would take about six, seven, eight years to fulfill all the pre-orders they had in the first two weeks of this camera. So this is crazy. I'm sure that Fuji now is thinking about increasing the production, but even doubling that production still would not be enough to ship the camera in time. So it would still take years to fulfill all pre-orders. And for me, this news is the one kind of news that really will change a lot in the camera industry. I will explain you why. First of all, as you know, the camera market was going down for the past 10 years, so the sales were less and less. And this also became a sort of self-fulfilling fulfilling prophecy because the companies didn't trust to invest a lot of money into that market because they didn't know how much it would go down. This means less cameras are announced, less exciting products. And of course, then people are less motivated to buy a new camera. If there is no real innovation coming, less beautiful cameras being announced. And uh, this was a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. And moreover, many companies switched over to uh, making cameras that uh, are good in making videos or being good vlogger cameras, neglecting a bit the pure photographic experience of having a camera that is focused on creating beautiful still images. I always thought that with the smartphone rise, there was a chance to sell actually more cameras because uh, with smartphones, everyone is taking, of course, pictures, but there is a portion of those kind of uh, people that wants to step up the game, create more professional images. And for that, smartphones are limited mainly because of the usability, of course, because you cannot hold it very well. And the layout is a bit more complicated instead of having proper buttons that make you easier to take a certain shot when you need it. And moreover, having also the possibility of using different kinds of lenses on a camera gives you more flexibility and the possibility to differentiate your style and support something on a smartphone is not really possible. But the companies were a bit neglecting that um, chance, they didn't see it. And so I'm happy that the Fuji X106 is selling like a hotcake because now I'm sure Nikon, Canon, Sony and all others realize that actually there is money to make if they listen to the customers and they have the courage to develop certain kinds of cameras that speak to their customers. And like I told you in my previous video, this means having cameras that first of all look beautiful. So because a camera is something like I told you that is seen by other people, you carry it when you walk on the street. So for me, the Fuji X106 success, one of the reasons is because it's a beautiful camera. And actually X106 is not the only camera selling well because Leica just released a financial report for the latest quarter and they made record sales and they really say like the Leica Q3, the fixed lens full frame cameras selling like hotcake. Even if it's priced at $6,000, it's selling extremely well. Also in that case, like the Fuji, it's a fixed lens camera. It's full frame, but still very compact. And it also has that strong brand recognition. Leica is something everybody knows, uh, like Fuji. Uh, of course, Fuji has the advantage to have the built-in film styles. So I do believe that Sony, Canon and Nikon can now learn from this and launch their own kind of more photographic oriented cameras, uh, Nikon has the ZFC, but what I mean is also have some more compact fixed lens cameras, that would be nice. And the big luck for Canon, Nikon and Sony is that Fuji will not be able to fulfill those pre-orders for the next at least two, three years. I cannot see them increasing in production rate by five, six times. And if Sony, Canon and Nikon can offer 
uh, this or next year a camera that is appealing like the Fuji X106, then I think some of the people that were waiting for the X106 might switch over to, for example, a new Sony RX full frame camera or a new Nikon um, or Canon vintage compact camera. So there's a chance for those companies to tap in Fuji's success and create a kind of camera that will attract some of those potential X106 buyers. And still, I do believe this trend is not um, something that is only a unique spike. I do believe that this will last for the next year. So um, companies should really now invest in creating more photographic, beautiful kind of cameras. Like I told you in my previous video, it's very important that those cameras look beautiful, that are easy to use. As you know, the Fuji X106 has beautiful controls, so that's also very important. Um, what's very important is also having the film stars. It's something that for Fuji is easy to have because they have a long heritage in the film um, development, but you could license those film stars from other manufacturers. There are many out there like Aqua Kodak and so forth. It would be nice to have those built-in film stars inside a Sony Canon or um, Nikon fixed lens camera. For me, also important would be to have app support like the Samsung NX had 10 years ago or the Zeiss ZX-1 failed experiment had a couple of years ago where Zeiss did build in Adobe, but this was a very uh, limited attempt. I'm thinking about, about a more broader support for many uh, social apps like TikTok, Instagram and so forth because I do believe that people love to have, first of all, a beautiful camera. Second, have a beautiful image instantly without having to edit it on Photoshop on a laptop at home. And the third aspect is to be able to share it instantaneously via one click. So for me having, for example, a Sony RX camera that has a built-in Instagram and a built-in Kodak uh, film style, it would mean I take an image, I click on the Instagram app and share it. And I do believe that would be the ultimate camera that would make it easy for smartphone photographers and for the younger generation to spend money on a more professional camera. This for me is the real chance for every manufacturer. They should work on those three aspects. And if you do that, I do believe you will sell a ton of cameras. That's my opinion. That's the feeling I have when I talk to people. They struggle with the current cameras because they are too complicated. Well, Folks, let me know in the comment system what you think about this, if you agree with me, if you have any other arguments or different opinion, I will read your comment. And that's it for today. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button because there are many rumors coming very soon. See you soon, folks.